everyone, this is Ina Rizginichka Chef and welcome to my kitchen. Today in the episode we are making some Ukraine dish, something what I crave actually with all my practice. It's something what my grandmother made and I absolutely love it. It's old fashioned, it's something what 200 years ago people made and occasionally in the small villages you will hear in Ukraine people still making palyanitsa with um, poppy seed milk. Palyanitsa smako. It's a flat bread basically with poppy seed and we treat this dish very much like all Americans do uh, cereal with milk. <laughs> Great for breakfast and I will show you how to quick and easy make it. So be before we begin, let me tell you what ingredients we need. Very simple, very, very simple. All purpose unbleached flour, organic, of course, as always. Um, we need a little bit of sugar, salt, baking soda. Um, also, to activate baking soda, my grandmother did. Um, you, she used uh, sour milk, which is ba basically kefir, or that's what I'm using, or use uh, buttermilk, use yogurt, whatever you have on hand. It's a very simple recipe. And to make more dough, more elastic and beautiful, add some vegetable oil, and I use olive oil. One egg, that's all you need. And for poppy seed milk, we need poppy seeds. Look how nice, beautiful, dry. If you never had poppy seed, you're missing out. It's very healthy and very, it's yummy, it's delicious. Um, I love, I love poppy seed. My children love poppy seed. Little bit of sugar and actually nice, better to have um, turbinara sugar. I don't have uh, today. Uh, the more coarse, the better uh, because we're going to grind and honey, a little bit more honey to sweeten. So we're going to grind this and my mom used pesto and mortar called Makidra in Ukraine and it's huge, it's massive and I remember this whole procedure was for hours. We're not going to do that. I'll show you a trick how to make quick and easy and the poppy seed will actually open up and wine. We need a paste. So for the dough we need dry ingredients all dumped together. We need flour, sugar, salt and soda. And my grandmother always used in a bake or actually pan fry, always in cast iron. That's what we're going to do. We're going to bake and I already degreased with some coconut oil. You can use butter, you can use, I believe my mom, grandmother used lard, whatever you have, whatever you trust with, <laughs> whatever you feel like. And all you need to do just Add water and we're going to simmer for about 20 minutes. And now you have two choices. You can use coffee grinder, which will be a painful job, or you can use just um, emergent blender and we'll try to do this emergent blender we may not get luck <laughs> and here we go the sugar is in Smelled nice fresh bread, and I 
like to flip and it's perfect steaming <laughs> just like my grandmother made so for poppy seed milk you need to have a milk consistency right so i like to add water and um i like to add about one cup at least but it's up to you you can add less or more to make um desired consistency for it And my grandmother, she always used hands to break down her palianice. And that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and now we do this. This poppy seed milk. And this dish, and this dish reminds me so much home. Reminds me childhood in Ukraine. Reminds me grandma. <laughs> I have to tell you, it's incredibly delicious. And if you're looking for something easy, quick, unusual dish, I heartily recommend. And don't forget subscribe, give me a like, and share with your friends. Cook from scratch, delicious, nutritious, and good for everybody. Bye, see you next time.